Hi everybody! I'm doing a five minute mini session for Johannes and this is going to include energy work and wisdom. So I'm going to go ahead and read Johannes' goals for the session and then I'm going to get started. Okay. Hello Abby. I would like to ask for some energy work today. To be specific, I would like to ask if you can find some kind of dump for discarded altars, killed soul fragments, or something of that kind, and help me to heal, integrate that. Hmm. It's a really unique request. Just give me a moment here. I'm just absorbing the request. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to relax now. This is a this is going to be a complex message. Because I think um it's almost like the part of you who is requesting this is like the killed soul fragment is like the discarded altar is um sort of vibrates um in that tone of meaning, okay? Like a part of you was thrown away. This is a weird idea came to mind is, what if a part of you was thrown away um, in the infinite trash compactor? Um, could you get that back? Could you get that part of yourself back? What does that mean exactly? But we're going to go deeper. I mean, this is a pretty profound request here, and there's a lot more tied into this one. There's a lot tied into this one. Okay. Right now I'm searching. That's what it feels like. I'm literally like um, hunting through what could be a vast um, space of just random junk. <laughs> okay. I'm like like looking in this like garbage dump of the, the energy universe. That's what it's like. Just this random junk everywhere. And I'm looking around and it's kind of levitating it all. And I'm just moving things out of the way. And I'm like literally moving forward quite quickly. And I'm looking for something, which is some part of yourself is what it feels like. The thing is, is why do I have to go find you? Why aren't you coming to me? If you want to be found, why aren't you coming to me? That's why I'm here. So you already know I'm here. I mean, this is a part of you. You threw yourself away. <laughs> That's what this is. And I would say it would be shame or guilt that is preventing you from saying, help me. Because it's just too shameful. And it is embarrassing. It's like an embarrassing thing when the soul realizes they threw themselves away and then they just don't want anybody to find them. They just want to shut everybody out. It's not, it's, it's, it's literally the anti-universe because the universe is so welcoming and so loving and so forgiving. And um, it's actually very sad when souls do this, when they, when they feel that they need to go hide under a rock and then bury themselves even deeper and then push even more love away. It's a very sad thing. And uh, there's a reflection of you that, that is doing that, a fragmented part. And this was never killed, okay? You can't kill a fragment. Um, I know what you're saying here with this. Um, but in a way, you could say he was trying to be obliv obliterated. He was trying to be. But on the conscious level from your request, it sounds like um, you feel that what you are wanting to accomplish here is to um, obliterate uh, whatever the soul fragments or whatever the energy is. But what you really are wanting to do um, the wisest, um, wisest way to process through this uh, thing is you're wanting to find the part of you that wants to be obliterated and then you want to heal that part and bring it back into yourself. The problem is, is because it's full of shame, you're kind of disgusted with it. So you don't want it back into yourself. You just want to get rid of it like a piece of trash. But it's it's all understandable energy. It's all understandable energies, especially you're human. I mean, this is supernatural. So he's disgusted with himself, and so therefore you two are disgusted with him, and you want him to be obliterated as he wants to just completely vanish from all knowing. It's all guilt, shame, that kind of stuff. 
I say you're not going to be thrown into the trash compactor today. In fact, that's not even remotely close to what's going to happen here. Either A, you can stay here for eternity and continue to hide, or B, you can take a nice deep breath and you can trust in your heart and the love of the universe doesn't want that for you. But this is your choice. You either come out and say hello to me and we get you back here to Johannes or I have to leave. Because <laughs> I'm not going to go find you. You're going to find me. You know where I am. You created this place. You created this junkyard actually in order to hide yourself. You don't want to be found. There's an angel that comes and she's female. She's not human minded at all because she's very compassionate. <laughs> and she sends waves of light and they go in every direction. But everything is you. All the trash is also you. And what it is is sending the energy into everything. It's like we're in the epicenter of it all kind of thing. And she's sending waves of love in every direction. And all the trash is you and you're hidden within and beneath and in infinitely impossible to find places. Um, but you're sensible. Like I can sense you are here. And she's sending it into everything that you've created here. This is a long time coming. This is, um, I can tell you right now that this was a divine thing. Um, this was a divine thing. This needed to happen. It's the only way I could describe it. Um, this needed to be resolved. So you on your journey, you have gotten to a point on an energy uh, transforming level that you were able to uproot this energy inside yourself to try to make sense of it. And you actually are going to successfully heal this part of you, okay? So she shows me that uh, everything that wasn't, that, I mean, all of this trashes you, but uh, she's pulled all your energy out of it. So everything just like dissolves and disappears. And this uh, part of your soul is just a little baby in her arms. And she says to forgive yourself. There's no shame here. There's nothing to be ashamed of. She kisses you on your forehead. You cry. And you're sort of suspended. You can't, you're a baby in a way. You can't uh, get away from her. But this is everything is right. I mean, you're not trying to, but you're also just overwhelmed with emotion and you're just crying and you're just crying and crying. And I see the angel, she's looking at the baby in her arms, but then she looks directly at you, Johannes. And then she sends waves of love and light directly to you. And she shows me that this part of yourself is returning to you. And it's going to be healing, not getting obliterated, <laughs> but it's going to be healing in heaven, you could say. I mean, it's going to be in a state of healing and love and, and rejuvenation. It's a pretty intense thing. I'm really glad I was able to accomplish this in a short period of time. I will say it's really shifting the feelings in your emotional gut and it is quite a delirious feeling in your third eye crown like around your head. It's like quite a delirious feeling. Your heart circulating more vibrantly. You're sending energies you no longer need down through your legs into the earth. Feeling more expanded. <laughs> I mean, this is all happening here from this very short period of time. It's amazing. Okay, that's all I can share, Johannes. This was so beautiful. This was cool. Hmm, what a neat request. That's so random. Hmm, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. And uh, for those of you watching, if you're interested in connecting with me one-on-one -on -one for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. 
I hope you all have a great day.